Rosie, I'm going to share with you one of my favourite dishes. This is a chow su pork. Now, this is something you would normally walk down the street and you see a Cantonese, uh, Chinese roast pork and duck shop. These are the ones hanging in the window, this pork. I have some shoulder of pork here, which I've cut in half, so it's a nice, thin, flat piece. I've got some sugar to start with, about a quarter of a cup. Yep. Now, while I'm doing this, Rosie, I've got some ginger and some garlic there. I'd like you to microplane it really fine. With pleasure. And I've got the garlic chives there as well, which is great for flavour. Now, this is my version of doing it because I do this at home and it is really, really tasty. So in goes the sugar. We love the sweetness that it gives. We've also got some vinegar, a little bit of Chinese black mm. vinegar. Cheap to buy and really, really tasty. Great for dumplings, great for pork, great for anything. I use plenty of it. I've also got some soya sauce. I'm using some ketchup menace, which is a really thick, Indonesian style soy yeah, sauce. Every time I have nasi goreng, that's the one I load up. Exactly, exactly. I've got some mirin here as well, about a couple of tablespoons of that. That goes into the bowl. Really flavoursome, thick, heavy uh, marinade. And that's what's going to get the flavour all the way to the centre. Now, the chow su has to have a red colour. So I'm using this red uh, food dye, mm. which is about a tablespoon. Be careful when you use this because if it gets on your clothing, gets on your hands, it goes everywhere and it's hard to get you out. You knew it was white shirt day, didn't you? I did, I did. Yeah. So I'm being very, very cautious about um, putting it in there like that. I've also got some soy sauce here, some mushroom soy. It's got a lovely flavour to it. In that goes. Yep. And, of course, some pepper. I'm using white pepper that's ground nice and fine. Also a great flavour. Now, coriander is one of my favourite things. A lot of people don't like coriander. I love it, so I'll put plenty of that. And I'll just chop it fairly fine. Now, you notice, Rosie, this is one of the things I don't put chilli in. I know, I have noticed, actually. Exactly. And why is that? There's not a lot of chilli in it. I'm not putting chilli. I want the flavour of the soy sauce, because that's what this episode is about. I want the flavour of the soy sauce to go all the way through it. And here's another little thing that I do with my spring onions. When I'm using them as a marinade, I slice them through the centre here and then slice them all the way through. It breaks them apart a lot easier, so you don't have those big, chunky rounds in nice there. Nice little pro tip there. Exactly. Yeah. It'll fall apart and give it flavour, and that's what I'm looking for. And once I've sliced it all the way through, pop it into the bowl, and it's nice, clean deck here. So, Rosie, I've got this lovely piece of neck, and they always say get some pork on your fork. There's my fork and there's a nice bit of pork on there. You're certainly doing that, aren't you? <laughs> a fair bit of pork. <laughs> now, I've got the garlic and ginger and the garlic tries. If you can throw them in there, Rosie. Yes. And what I'll do is I'll just pop this in here nice and gently and just throw it, throw, it on on top, throw it on top because I'm going to use my fork, you know, my pork with my fork and move it around. Another thing, when you're buying pork, make sure you buy Australian pork. If you have a look at the packet, you'll see a little Australian pork symbol on it and that is really important. We want to support our Australian farmers. Absolutely. And another tip is when you're buying... Uh, ham at Christmas time, make sure the ham's got a bone in it. Pork with a bone in it has always going to be Australian pork. Really important. It's now, just to know. Exactly. Now, with the uh, marinade, I'll pick it up with a fork here like this and pop it down in the tray. And then I pop this marinade on top. Yep. So I marinate it like this and then I just pop it in the oven. But before I do that, I put a little bit of baking paper on it and that helps to keep it nice and sort of insulated inside. Just scrunch that up like that. And then, of course, some foil goes on it as well and that'll help to steer it. The double method. Exactly, exactly. And I let it steam in there so you get lots of the flavour and the juices stay in there. Then after the last 10 minutes or so, I take it off. Now, this will go into a preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius. It'll take about an hour to cook till it's nice and tender. And I think we'll have it with a salad, don't you think? I think a salad would be A salad great. would be delicious. <laughs> into the oven. Rosie, look at that pork nicely caramelised on the outside. Whoa, uh, that's okay. intense, isn't it? It is, and you can smell the flavour from yeah, it. Yeah, I really can. And it's got some of these little crusty bits. I call them burnt ends. They're the best part. Sweet, caramelised, delicious. This is a bit of you, isn't it? Oh, I, I could just pick that up with my fork and just, just <laughs> chew the whole thing, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to be a barbarian. I'm going to be uh, civilised. Yes. We're going to make a little salad to go in the bowl here. Wonderful. Uh, these baby little cukes, fantastic. Uh, some tomatoes, different varieties of Gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. I've got a white onion here, which I'll slice nice and fine. This is a salad onion, Rosie. White salad onion. Great for salads and eating raw, but you can also cook with them as well. They've got a lovely flavour. We should use them more. Hey, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Th they are. One of my favourite onions to use. You can get different types, but if you want some bite, some onion on your breath, 
this is the way to do it. Now, you know I'm a vegetarian, but I can imagine that a nice refreshing salad next to a nice high quality protein is a, is a lovely um, pairing. Exactly. You know, we like to have protein, but we also need to have plenty of uh, fibre oh, and very vegetables. much iron rich protein there too. There's exactly. a lot of iron going on. In here. I, I, you could iron it flat if you want, but um, I believe that's nutrition. Something like that. Something in goes like some that. herbs. We need lots of that in there. Let me grab these tomatoes because I love tomatoes and these are cute little, little Roma tomatoes. I'll take a few of them out. They're so cute. Isn't it? All Lit those cute cucumber, cute tomatoes. Little baby tomatoes are fantastic. Now slice it through like that and I'll just pop them in there. Yep. Throw a few of those pop on there. More. While you're doing that, Rosie, I'm going to grab the pork out of the tray here. Now it's cooled down a little bit with my lovely fork. Pop it there like that. And I'll pop this over here. And this is the best part. I'll slice it nice and thin. If you go to a Cantonese restaurant, they'll get their big meat cleaver out and they'll do chop chop on this. So they'll chop it all up into little pieces. And that way you get nice, tender pieces of pork and this will go through the salad. Now, Rosie, if you can mix that salad and I have a yep. bowl over there for you to have some salad as well. Bless you. And I have some dressing made from soy sauce as well because this is all about soy sauce. A little bit of ketchup manis, a little bit of soy sauce, some extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, some salt and pepper. Simple. Pop that on. Now, if you wanted to, you could also use the liquid that's left in the tray here. I won't put this to waste at all. This will be part of my dish. Now, if you can take some and pop it into your bowl, Rosie, and I'm going to grab the rest of this and pop this pork onto my salad there, nice and neatly. Beautiful. And I'll put some of this marinade sauce over the top of it. Yeah, and you don't want to waste that, do you? That's got the good stuff in it. It's all about the good stuff. That looks great, doesn't it? That really does. What a beautiful dish. And the soy sauce in that salad. Tell me what you think of that, Rosie. I love the idea of soy sauce um, as a dressing. I think it's lovely like on a salad dressing. I think that's a wonderful thing to start doing. Now, I'm going to use this big knife here and cut a piece of that pork because that's what it's all about. Lovely piece of pork. Mm. I don't know what it is about soy. You add it to anything. It just jazzes the whole dish up, doesn't it? It does, makes it flavoursome. Mm. Now, this has got a great flavour to it. You can see some of the red around the outside from the colouring, but it's really got some punch. And one thing you will notice, I didn't put any salt on here. Yeah. Because salt is in the soy sauce. It's a great seasoning part of it, and it makes it taste really good. That's nice and tender. Sells nice with the uh, dressing. I think that is a great dinner party dish that I think a lot of you should try because it's impressive. Dinner party, late night, any time of the day.